Here at Tormach, we love sharing our customer stories. So here's Alain Day, who runs a company that creates branding experiences. Our main goal is to help companies, especially emerging brands, to create a memorable experience by their own customers. Our goal is to make that experience unique, and so customer could remember what brand they visit and create more of a loyalty. We found that to be able to deliver that kind of a promise, we need to be involved on, in the entire process. We start with helping those brands create an identity, anything from their color and to their logo into messaging. And then we move into other aspects of designing. So we will do the architecture and we'll develop the interior design for those spaces all the way to producing those unique, not off the shelf elements in their environments. So it's even easier to remember what people experience. When we thought about buying the Tormac, we realized that we have several needs that could not be fulfilled by a router. One of them obviously is to prototype a complex small parts. Another one will, was to uh, effectively and repeatably create short runs of mechanical parts to some of our production elements. And now we emerging into our new frontier of usage of Tormac where we're making molds for an injection molder that we purchase. Um, all of those needs with the huge variety fit very well with the Tormac machine. Yeah, I think the biggest thing was just the level of precision. Um, that it bumped us up to. Alon mentioned that we, you know, use laser cutters and CNC routers. Um, at a certain point, those are only so helpful. Um, the Tormach brought us to that next level of high precision. The work that we do here, there's a heavy balance between the digital fabrication world as well as, you know, the master craftsman, like hands-on world. Um, and so it's a good balance between that to sort of see how my skills as a digital fabricator with machines like the Tormach um, can supplement the overarching design that we do inside the studio. We, we have a customer, uh, the company called Chow Now, and they are using the iPad in different environments, mostly in the restaurants, to connect um, that restaurant with their website for purchasing. And we offer them an original design for the stand of the iPad. And that's create a unique branding opportunity for Chow Now next to the cash register where there was already three or four other iPads by other companies. Uh, we committed to give them a beautiful minimal stand with the opportunity to put their uh, graphic on top of that stand. The Tormac helped us uh, deliver a highly complex piece, even though it looked really, really simple, with many operations in such a way that setup was not that painful. Every time that we had to engage with the 200 parts, he, he could probably say that it was really painful. <laughs> um, and he probably is right that they have a short memory usually. Um, but Torimark really helped us execute that vision of highly precise relatively short runs with not a lot of setup and with using multi changes of tools basically. Yeah, that was the Chow Now iPad stand was probably the best example of us learning how we can optimize production using the Tormach itself. So we started um, with a very simple just handmade jig that we would use to clamp down the parts and we would individually change all the tooling out. Um, once we got into the rhythm of using the machine, and understanding its limitations, its possibilities. We created a vacuum hold down system. We milled the, milled the jig on the Tormach itself, a part specific tooling. We incorporated the automatic tool changer to increase the speed of which we produce these parts because um, we had multiple operations. We had drilling operations, we had tapping operations, profiling cuts. And um, we had bitter fight. I was telling him that the machine could be more aggressive. <laughs> It was very conservative. There was many, many conversations <laughs> of, okay, Alon, I got it down to, I, I can cut four parts in 10 minutes. It's <laughs> like, great, do it in five. Yeah. Um, and we got it done. We, we compromised and we ended up, I think it was around about seven minutes. That's for correct. Four yes. parts. So he was very um, proud that the machine could do that. And he he still, was, still was giving me a hard time about the seven minute mark. <laughs> um, but, and over time, like, we started 
essentially from the bottom with that project of, okay, we're going to have somebody standing in front of the machine swapping out tooling to we understood what we could do with the machine and we ended up creating a process that was very autonomous. I want to add that actually one of the advantages of Tormac, which is fitting the philosophy of this shop very well, is the modularity. As we encounter issues, we could buy a modules that help our operation. We bought the tool changer, which we didn't have in the beginning. We add the flood system, and now we're going to add the four axis elements so we could explore and improve the performance of the machine without fully committed to all of those elements in the beginning. And it's match our learning curve as well, and which was really, really important. We didn't need to buy what we didn't need at the time. And that was fantastic. I mean, modularity is the lifeblood of what we do here. Because our needs change all the time, we were seeking a machine that is not precious or overly, not overly complicated, where we're going to be intimidated from exploration. Yeah, I, I really do enjoy sort of the modularity, like Alon spoke of, of like, there's always something more that you can put onto the machine to help you facilitate what you're working on. If we didn't have this, we wouldn't have gotten an injection molding machine. So now we can use this to supplement that knowledge um, and sort of just keep moving forward. Um, so I, sh I share Alon's vision that it, growing it organically in the way that it has been has been super fun. And I mean, you never know what's, what's going to happen next. We really don't. No, we really don't. Like, that's the thing. We really like, don't know what will happen next. If you would have asked me a year or so ago that we'd be doing this right now, I, I would have told you you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. And that's what's so amazing, actually, about technology and what Tormac represents. I think that our, the playing field for us to output really good work uh, in a relative, in relatively short amount of time and small amount of capital that make us as competitive as very large manufacturers. Um, that's exciting. And harnessing that technology definitely challenged us further, but made us extremely relevant in the marketplace. And we're excited about that. We want to be in the cutting edge, but not in the bleeding edge. That's for sure. So we're definitely in the cutting edge. We, we don't have any doubt that we're leading in our own industry, but we're trying to make it not as painful. And really having access to technology that literally is available um, is just fantastic. It's a, it's, it's a game changer, totally. Thanks for watching. Check out our latest videos here. And for more metalworking tips, tricks, and stories, subscribe to our YouTube channel.